Hello, it's Mark from Cars and Cameras, and I got the new GH5. I really want to put this camera through its paces. Uh, I've used the uh, GH3 and GH4 uh, extensively, and I really want to see what the GH5 is about. So here's a quick unboxing for you, and I'm going to take a look at what we got when you get it. Okay, so looks like they give you a lovely power cord. And looks like they give you a USB-C plug uh, to transfer the photos off in high speed if you want to. I uh, will never use that. And what else do we have here? It looks like we have a separate battery charger, which is always very nice. You get these with the A7 series cameras, which is always cool. Um, it doesn't have a wall plug. You can't plug it in to the wall, but you have to use... A, uh, a cord so that's fine also it looks like this is a reinforcement like the a7s uh, series cameras for the HDMI and the headphone jack uh, so you don't break it and um, there's your battery cool thing about this camera and the other Lumix cameras is the batteries last a long time and there's a lovely uh, camera strap and we'll never use it okay let's take a look at the camera and here she is, the lovely GH5. There it is. Okay, so let's put a lens on this camera. So it's also a quick unboxing of the new 12-60 to uh, Leica lens. And uh, I wanted to see what this lens was all about. So I've tried the other Lumix lenses, but I've never tried this lens. So let's see what we got here. It comes with a lovely... Um, lens hood and we'll take a quick look at this and uh, oh it's very nice it looks like it's made out of plastic and metal which is really cool because the construction of the lens is supposed to be really really nice so we'll take a look at that now and here's the lens all right let's go ahead and put it on the camera all right there it is and uh, the camera feels great in the hand um, the switches and the dials have a very nice tactile feel to them. The camera does not feel cheap at all. It feels very, very nice. And, um, you know, from the back, you can see the thumb wheel controls. Camera is really nice. I love the flip out finder. Unlike the Sony's where they're, you know, mounted to the back of the camera, they don't flip out like that. Uh, it's kind of a nice feature. Um, also, what's cool is when you don't want to use that viewfinder, you can go ahead and close it and protect it. Okay, so here's a shot of the right side of the camera. You have the remote, which I will probably never use, and there's a close-up looking at those two SD card slots, uh, which is really cool because you can record in succession if you want to. There's no record limit with this camera. And on the other side, there you go, uh, you have a full-size HDMI uh, port. You also have your mic input, and you also have your headphone jack. Everything is right there. Very nice. And like I said, the camera feels good in the hand and uh, not too bad. Okay. So uh, lens feels, does not feel cheap. It's a very nice lens. Uh, I think in Europe, this is the kit lens that comes with the camera, not in the USA, at least not yet. But um, uh, I wanted to check out this lens and see what it's like. So there you go. There's the Lumix GH5. So let's look at some sample footage coming up and see what the camera is all about. Okay. So Here's the standard shot looking over the, the at the neighbor's yard. Camera looks pretty good. It has some really nice dynamic range. Now, what I did here is this is just the standard profile uh, shooting an 8-bit uh, 420, uh, 100 megabits per second. Just wanted to see what the camera would do out of the box. 24p, put a 0.6 ND filter on the camera. Pretty impressive. It looks really, really nice. It's not bad at all. Actually, uh, and the really cool thing about this camera is the rolling shutter is almost, it's, it's almost zero. It, unlike the Sony's where you have a lot of rolling shutter, you have no rolling shutter with this camera whatsoever. It's really nice. There's no jelloing. And uh, the stabilization on the camera, uh, I'll see what it's like with non-stabilized lenses, but the stabilization is really, really nice. It's really incredible. Um, it's a very, very nice. And, um, so far I'm liking what I see out of the camera. 
It looks really, really clean. And, you know, I haven't even explored the 10 bit, haven't even explored uh, log profiles, flat profiles, no color grading here, folks. This is just what you would get if you turn the camera on, put it in 4K, set the shutter speed to 1 50th of a second, put a little ND on the camera, and start shooting. So, um, into the evening here, it looks pretty good. It looks really nice. I did set the white balance a little high. I think it was about 7,200, some, somewhere around the 7,400. Uh, you know, because it's kind of the end of the day, just to make things look a little bit nicer straight out of the camera. But it looks pretty good. Um, and uh, here's some shots of inside the car. Um, that lens is really nice, that 12 to 60. You can really, you know, shoot close up with it. And um, it's really cool. And like I said, the stabilization. Um, you know, on the camera is very, very good. Camera has a great feel to it. Uh, and I just, I really like the colors just that come out of the camera, even with the standard profile. I like the way everything is dialed in. It looks really good. It looks very filmic. Um, it looks good. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at the low light performance. And this is where I really thought I was going to be disappointed with the camera because it does everything else so well. It has minimal rolling shutter it has fantastic steady shot and i really thought when i got to the nighttime testing that i was going to be disappointed but i am very surprised it looks very very good this is 1600 uh, iso and i even bumped it up to 3200 and it looks really good but everything you're seeing here this is all 1600 uh, ISO and it looks nice. It looks really nice. And you know, the lens, this 12 to 60 is not the fastest lens for nighttime use. So, uh, but it looks great. I'm really, I'm really impressed with it. And look at that whip pan on that car going by. I mean, basically no rolling shutter. Uh, that's something that Sony can't say. Anyway, um, there's going to be a lot more tests on this camera coming up. I'm going to do anamorphic tests, different lenses, 10 bit, uh, you name it going to push it all different ways and see what it's really all about and see if this is the new cinema camera. So if you haven't subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button. A lot of cool stuff coming up and more camera reviews, lens reviews. It's all coming up very soon. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.